everyone welcome to vishwa bloom so in this video we'll be looking at optics concept 1 explanation physics techno which is for class 8 as many of you requested for this explanation video i am doing it actually so lavanya dupishetty justice educational tutorial mangamma jubilee jyoti lakshmi puram and shoa pande these people have requested for concept 1 introduction explanation video so that is why today i am here to explain the concept 1 of optics so let's begin with the video you know this first concept is very simple one so let's start reflection of light first topic is reflection of light now generally what is reflection we all know that right so reflection is nothing but light come back to the same medium from a boundary separating two media is reflection here it is really really you know confusing for you let me draw and explain it clearly now let this be a mirror this is the silver side of the mirror right now when an incident ray when suppose you are holding a torch here yeah you are holding it and the suppose you hold it curved like this then the light is going to fall like this on the mirror and there is one more ray which is going to come back if you haven't seen this what you do is just turn off the light in your room and in in a room where there is a mirror just take a torch put it on the uh, you know the mirror like this and when you flash out the light you are going to get one more light from uh, through it okay now we will discuss what uh, what are all this okay first reflection that topic must be clear i hope that is clear when there is a one light passing and it is reflecting the you know, some mirror what happens it is going to come back this is called as this phenomena is called as reflection that's it reflection of right light is very clear i hope next next we are going to see what is a reflector now this term seems to be very different but very very simple part actually so let me tell that reflector what is reflector see now the surface from which reflection takes place is called a reflector now what is the reflector here obviously the mirror is the reflector because without this mirror reflection wouldn't have taken place this is reflection the light which is going to come out right now without the mirror will it be possible for us to see reflection no so this mirror acts as the reflector it is called as reflector now reflection and reflector both are clear to you next we'll move on to the laws of reflection now consider this to be the mirror right now this is a mirror now you are flashing a light from here right so when you are flashing the light from here it is going to come from that side right so that arrow mark denotation is very much important denoting the arrow mark is important because this shows that it is the incident ray now i'll tell you now when it is touching the point on the mirror what happens there is one more ray going to pass from that now this part is clear to you now let me name the torch a and here the reflected wala as b now a a here and where, where it is touching right both the points wherever it is touching let us name it as o clear now this red line is the normal it is represented by n so normal it is nothing but it is just a 90 degree from the mirror 90 degree from the mirror exact 90 degree angle will be there that is norm okay now that is also clear right n now this side and this side it is going to be 90 only then only it is going to make a linear pair that is 180 now this oa you will call it as incident ray what we call incident ray now why do we uh, call this incident ray sorry because see now this is the ray which you are creating right like from the torch you are putting it so that is a starting ray so incident ray and the dark blue one it is getting reflected by through the reflector so this is reflected ray because it is getting reflected 
and then it is coming here you are not putting any torch it is coming through the mirror so that is why it is called as incident ray and reflected ray oa is incident ray and ob is reflected ray why it is ray because here it is a fixed point here you can't go you can't change it you can't move it and here it can get extended up to any extent so that is why it is a ray okay now th this is in incident ray this is final ray so reflected now the angle between normal and the incident ray the angle between normal and the incident ray is angle of incidence angle of incidence okay you will replace represent it like this angle i okay next this the angle between normal and the reflected ray normal and the reflected ray is angle of reflection angle of reflection now this is clear to you right now there is no doubt in this okay now here left side this angle you can see right the left one this angle is represented as alpha which is known as the glancing angle it is made by the incident ray with the surface with the surface okay that is alpha it is nothing but glancing angle next here i have extended the incident ray with yellow color why did why do uh, why have i done that because to show angle of deviation now this entire angle from this ob and this yellow line this angle is called as angle of deviation now what is angle of deviation this angle is made by the extended incident ray we have extended the incident ray so that we have got the angle of deviation and this angle is made by the extended incident ray with the reflected ray and this is called as angle of deviation okay this is angle of deviation now and first angle of incidence angle of reflection glancing angle alpha and angle of deviation these all are things which you have to remember first and foremost then we will move on to the laws okay first i will again give a recap on is nothing but normal remember this normal to the surface oa is incident ray ob is reflected ray this one and angle between incident ray and the normal it is called as incident angle of incidence and angle between ob and normal it is called as angle of reflection right and one more thing is that glancing angle is between the where it is made by the incident ray with the surface that is glancing angle next angle of deviation it is made through the extended incident ray with the reflected ray now this is clear right this part should be clear because then only we will be able to understand the laws of reflections clear now this one i'll show it even neater i hope you can see that and this is the mirror as i have already instructed this okay now we'll move on to the laws of uh, reflection just to read these points i'll tell you which points to read first actually the order is wrong first you have to know about all these things first need, uh, down one you have to learn angle of incidence reflection glancing angle ang angle of deviation and all this stuff then only we actually have to move to the laws of reflection but it's okay i have uh, done it in order for you now let's move on so there are majorly two laws of reflection two laws are there first law first we will discuss first law is says that the incident ray the normal to the reflecting surface at the point of incidence and reflected ray all lie in one plane so this statement seems to be very very confusing but it is very simple actually now you will take this as mirror right now you will take one incident ray normal will be here and reflected ray 
Now this statement is telling that all these uh, rays, what are all the ray? In incident ray, normal and even the reflecting ray. All these must lie on one plane. One plane is nothing but it should lie on one plane. That is a mirror, the surface. It should lie only on one plane. Okay. That is first law of reflection. Now second law we will see. Second law is also very very simple actually. Now you have the mirror. This is mirror. And this is angle of incidence. Normal and reflected ray. Reflected ray. And these are the angle. This is angle of incidence. This is angle of reflection. This is glancing angle. And here extended ray. This is nothing but angle of deviation. Okay. Now second law states that the angle of incidence is, is equal to the angle of reflection. These two angles are equal. That's it. That only it is going to state. Angle I is equal to angle R. Angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection now if if uh, in a question if he is giving uh, incident ray sorry incident ray is equal to 50 degree then what find out the reflected ray he will ask this question is so simple that incident ray is same as reflected ray if he is giving angle i is equal to 50 degree what is reflected angle he will ask then you will write from the second law of reflection, we could say that angle of incidence is equal to angle of reflection. So, angle of reflection is equal to 50 degrees only. Now, whatever angle is here, it is going to be here. That's it. Okay. This is very simple. Now, if the question is vice versa also, it is going to be the same. So, based on this, I have done problems in the MCQ video. That also you can check it out. It is available in the channel already. And thanks for watching our video. Do like, share and subscribe to Vishwa Blooms. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. And I will keep that MCQ video in the description so that it will be easy for you.